In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Big Blue Button to access an online class. So as you can see, I'm already logged into the Moodle page for my course, and I can see that I have an online class with a link here and the Big Blue Button icon here. To enter the live class, I'm going to click on this link. So I can see down here I have the option to join the session. I'm going to click again here and I'm going to be taken into the Big Blue Button application. So once I'm here, I have a choice for how I want to join. I can choose to listen only or to use the microphone. This time, I'm going to choose to use the microphone. I'm going to finish the echo test and if it goes well, I'm going to click the thumbs up. And now I'm into my class in Big Blue Button. So on the largest part of the screen, I can see the presentation that my instructor wants, wants to share with the class today. And then towards the left, I have a few different features for how I can interact or share information. So first, I can see my name here, and I also see the microphone icon. If it's green, that means that I can speak and people can hear me. So if there's a lot going on in the background, you might want to choose to mute the microphone. I do that by going to the bottom of the screen and clicking on mute. You are now muted. You are now unmuted. So if I want to speak, I can unmute myself again. And you'll also see I have the option here. I can choose to share my webcam in the session as well. So going back over here, uh, when I click on my name, I also have the option to share my status. So this is something I can use to let my instructor know how I'm doing in the session. For example, if I need to step away, I can use the away option. I can raise my hand if I have a question, or I can share a little bit about how I'm doing with the material right now. The other option that I have here is the chat. So by default, when I go into chat, it's going to be a public chat. So that means anything I type in the chat box, everybody that's in the online classroom is going to be able to see. But I can also choose to chat only my instructor or only another person in the room. So if I want to do that, for example, if I want to uh, chat just with Dave here, I'll click on Dave's name and I can start a private chat just with Dave. And if I do this, nobody in the classroom is going to see. So as you can see, I just chose to make the presentation a little bit bigger and not to see the chat window. If I want to see the chat again, I can go back over here I can click on the public chat and now I can see that chat window again. So now let's uh, look at a few other things that might happen in the online class. So one of the things that the instructor might choose to do is to do some activities with an interactive online whiteboard. So when that happens, um, as you can see, this, uh, these whiteboard tools just popped up on my screen and I see my name here um, moving around the board. So I can choose here, I can choose the text tool if I want to type on the whiteboard, or I can also choose a pencil tool if I want to underline something. I might also want to choose to change the color I'm using. And if the whiteboard is not in use, you might see this part of the whiteboard disappear. Another thing that might happen in an online class is an instructor might use a poll to ask you a question to see how you're doing at learning the course material. So as you see here, a poll has come up. What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, or butterscotch? So I have a th second to think about the question. And then I'm going to see a poll come up on my screen. I have a choice of A, B, C, or D. Well, personally, I'm a fan of chocolate ice cream, so I'm going to click A. Now I see the results have come up on the screen. How many people have chosen the answer I did? All right, so now you've had a brief overview of what it looks like to have an online class in Big Blue Button. Thanks so much for watching our video, and if you would like more help with your online learning, please visit us at kpu.ca slash learning centers slash online learning.